Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up these two WWE Select 2022 Panini boxes. They are blaster exclusive flasher prisms. They have 24 cards total inside the box. We are going to, well, let's, let's open up the package so we can read it a little bit better. There is a lot to look for in these cards. Let's have some fun. Let's see what we end up getting. I haven't opened up one of these in a while. Let's see. I'm not, I'm kinda, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited about this. Ooh, we got Riddle. We have Booker T. Can you dig it, sucker? Gunther! The current Intercontinental Champion. Oh, we got Grayson Waller. It looks like it's one of these exclusive. Oh, hit the camera. One of these exclusive ones. Looks pretty cool. I dig it. He's uh, definitely going to be one of the guys that uh, it's going to be a bright star in the future. So I like what we got so far. Let's open up this next pack. Ooh, we got Damian Priest from Judgment Day. And Kevin Owens, the prize fighter. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, we got, look at this, Io Shirai. Uh, obviously, she's now known as Io Sky. But that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Obviously, she was a big part of NXT and NXT 2.0. I kind of dig these. These are a far cry from the old school 80s WWF trading cards. Definitely uh, these ones have a lot more pizzazz. So let's see what else we end up getting. I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping that we get like a Cody Rhodes or an Edge or something like that. I mean, they kind of have an advertise on the front of the box. So it's kind of expected to get something like that. Oh, we got Ilya Dragunov, former NXT UK champion. Oh, the American dream. Oh, look at that. Not even with the old school yellow and black polka dots. The very rare red polka dot. Wow. The beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Let's see what this last one is. Oh, self high five D D P. Not too bad. It looks like there's one special one out of every uh, every pack, so I'm kind of ooh Big E, former WWE champion. Oh, one of the best, one of the Hall of Famers, an all-time one of my personal favorites, Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, we got Grayson Waller, but this time it's uh. A little, uh, you know, the non-variant one. So you got, you know, the two that you can, you know, two different versions of Grayson Waller. And another one of those orange tiger ones. Oh, this version of the DDP. So we got a different variations of a couple guys. So obviously one of them uh, is a little different than the other ones. But, uh, you know, we'll see if it's even... Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe that one's a lot. And maybe the, that one's a dollar more than the than the regular base one. So, oh, now it's getting ridiculous. This is my third DD three DDPs in one box. That's uh, uh, I mean, what can you do? Julius Creed, one of the Creed brothers, former NXT Tag Team Champion. So uh, he's a a guy to look for in the future. Dominic Mysterio just recently joins Judgment Day, so uh, look for that guy coming up. And we have Drew, or Drew McIntyre. It's my horrible accent, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Last pack from box number one. Oh, my guy's got to be at least seven two seven three that guy's a beast jimmy uso not bad let's see uh maybe one of these other packs give us jay uso from the bloodline ha 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 
the million dollar man Ted DiBiase one of my favorites when I was a kid uh he was very easy to hate and I'm sure he would have taken that as a compliment uh considering some of these guys but now let's look at uh oh one of my favorites from 2013 to 2014 I'm afraid I've got some bad news new smackdown commentator so uh, i think he's doing a pretty good job on that so that was pretty much it from box number one obviously we got some uh some of these cards some of these special one of a kind i kind of, i'm not gonna lie i think my favorite of this box is eo shirai uh just it just looks uh, looks pretty neat I, I dig it i like it all right box number two Obviously, hopefully, we'll get a little bit more, uh, a little more luckier than this one. I'd say maybe some of those orange ones are the tiger prisms. I'm gonna look up to see what, uh, which one this Eo Shirai card, uh, card is. I was gonna say Eo Sky combination of her current name and her older name. All right, that's uh, round two, I guess you can say. Yeah, let's put these away. They're a little distracting in the background. Oh, Katana Chance. NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Currently alongside uh, Kane Carter. We got Indy Hartwell. Somebody, uh, a big favorite of, of a lot of people. Obviously, the, the whole index thing, in my opinion, probably the best love story in the history of the WWE. Oh, uh, Wow. To say he was my one of my favorites is a total understatement. I mean, this guy is just you'd be surprised just if anybody who's not familiar with this guy, I mean obviously there's a lot of uh more younger younger audience, but this guy was just one of the best ever. And we got let's see what the tiger one is. Oh, Nikki Ash. Nikki almost a superhero, Nikki Cross, not too bad. That was looks like our was our, our tiger of the uh of the bunch. Looks like we got a lot of those tiger kind of uh kind of looking designs. Cora Jade, obviously a lot uh a lot less uh uh she doesn't look like this anymore. She definitely has a lot more of a mean streak these days, as we just saw her match at Halloween Havoc alongside Roxanne Perez. Angel Garza, uh, second, third generation guy, obviously uh, in a tag team with Umberto Carrillo. Oh, another biggie. This one uh, a little different. Going up against uh, Bobby Lashley. Maybe this was the match where he won the WWE Championship. And then, of course, we got, oh, look at this. Braun Breaker. NXT Champion Braun Breaker. This guy, everybody thinks this guy is the future of the WWE. We'll see... Uh, He's definitely got the pedigree. Uh, you know, obviously, he's uh, Rick Steiner's son, which makes him Scott Steiner's nephew. We'll see if... Uh, so far, he's living up to his potential. and We'll see if he ends up becoming a, a, a WrestleMania main event or something like that. I guess his uh, his dad or uncle were never, uh, were never there. Bailey, former uh, multiple-time women's champion. Oh, another Drew McIntyre. Look at that. Oh, look at that. They spoiled it by having it turned around. But look at that. You got, you got two. Oh! Wow. I mean, I'm a little excited about Mandy Rose as well. But look at that. Autograph Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Wow. That is pretty cool. He was a guy that... Uh, he was another one of my favorites when I was a kid. But look at that. Autograph Brutus Beefcake. Something that was missing from the first pack, an autograph. But wow, this is a, uh, this is pretty cool. This is really, really cool. I, I, I uh, obviously this is a, uh, the best one of the bunch. So, but you know, again, you got your Mandy Rose, NXT Women's Champion. Uh, we all putting some respect on her name. So, definitely, uh, I think she is definitely coming to her own since uh, coming to NXT 2.0, and uh, practically carrying that women's division. This one's a little hard to open, I'm not gonna lie. Let's open it from the bottom. Oh, there we go. 
Wow, the Brutus the Barber Beefcake Autograph. One of a kind. One half of the Dream Team, if anybody remembers, alongside Greg the Hammer Valentine. One of my personal favorites, Randy Orton, doing the double mid-rope DDT. Pretty cool move. Ah, Kofi Kingston, former WWE Champion. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. Santos Escobar just made his SmackDown debut not too long ago. And the Tiger is Apollo. Currently in NXT, a former Intercontinental and US Champion. Not too shabby. Still the best of the I don't think I don't think we're gonna beat that Brutus Beefcake autograph. So uh but let's yeah, let's just see what else what else we got. If we got another autograph, that's going I mean two I, I doubt we're gonna get two in one box. There's probably a 0 0.001 chance per, or percent chance for that to happen. Angelo Dawkins, one of the guys from the Street Profits. Ronda Rousey. Most definitely uh, becoming one of the all-time greats, not just in UFC, but in the WWE. Shinsuke Nakamura. Hopefully, when you're watching this, uh, future WWE champion, I think he's still got a lot in the tank. And we got Pete Dunn slash Butch. Look at that. Butch. We're down to the last pack from box number two. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Down below, I got some more packs coming in. So, uh, like I say, hopefully we'll get as lucky as former tank champ Brutus Barber Beefcake. Oh, another Gunther. Eh, I mean, I'm not I'm not upset about it, but it's just always not. Oh, another Damien Priest. So far, disappointing. Let's see, at least if the next one we can get somebody that we don't have already. Ah, all right. Down to the last card. I'll be, I'll be a little upset if it's a duplicate, but... uh. Let's see, Dolph Ziggler, all right, I'll take it. Dolph Ziggler, former Spirit Squad member. He's pretty much won every title that has been in the WWE. Well, there you go. That's what we got from these two boxes. Obviously the best of the bunch, the Brutus, the Barber Beefcake autograph, signature. Wow, this, um, this, this is pretty cool. This is, uh, this is really, really cool. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Uh, I don't plan on selling any of these, but uh, you know, if anybody wants to offer me like four digits, well, I mean, that's before the decimal. We'll see how that goes. But uh, this was the card pack opening for the two bo for the two boxes of the paninis. And if you like what you see, let me know what else you want to see. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.